Hello, in this video we're going to walk through the Gaussian Blur UI shader graph. Um, there's a few parts here that we'll go over, but this is just so uh, you have an understanding of what's going on. Our first part here is our input texture. You can have a custom input texture of whatever you'd like, but um, if this Boolean is checked to true, it's going to use a camera opaque texture. This is a texture that is rendered by rendered out by Unity and it does not include any of the transparency stuff. So if you want to include the transparency stuff, you're going to need to use a custom texture that can easily be a render texture or any texture you'd like. The next part is our sampler state. This is just how we're going to sample our texture. The next part is the screen position. So this maps the screen position to what part of the texture. Um, and as you see right here, we're just feeding it straight into our custom function. Um, if you want to kind of distort the Gaussian blur, you're going to need to um, do a uh, edit between here and our custom function then we are getting the uh, screen parameters so the height and width of the screen and we're turning that into a vector too and feeding that into our custom function right here this is kind of a um a difficult part to understand but this is a blur scale so if we see here, this is a slider that goes from 0 to 100. And what it's going to do is adjust um, the custom function here is going to create the iterations and the kernel. Now let me tell you, the iterations are a loop and that allows us to do the Gaussian blur. But if we have too many loops, it's going to in, uh, affect your frames per second. So we have a kind of like a power function here. So um, the kernel, if we increase the kernel size, we can get a, a, a blur without using as many loops. And so uh, what this custom function does is it takes one number and turns it into two independent numbers Obviously, if you wanted to, you could feed in these two numbers straight into the function, but depending on what numbers you feed in, you might lose some performance. We have our custom function here that basically takes all our inputs and produces a um, Gaussian blur uh, texture. Here we provide, here we can adjust for the lighting, the tit, and the saturation. This is pretty basic right here. Um, but we also have our UI image. So our UI image is the image attached here. Um, so if you don't have an image, it's just going to take the whole thing. But if you have an image there, what we're doing here is we're taking the alpha of our UI image and we're feeding it in here. So we're going to get a cutout of whatever we have in that UI. Um, and then we're feeding it out and that's how we get our Gaussian blur.